Hello. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to Caves of Good. Um, what are we doing? Well, I don't know. We're fungled. Uh, we're getting lasered. You know, we're, we're getting a uh, non-consensual um, eye exam. You know, that's what that is. Uh, or laser. Uh, eye laser. Uh, what do you call it? You know, you know the thing. There must be a guy around here setting these these things up. Uh, eye laser surgery. I'm, I'm sure someone doesn't want me to talk about eye laser surgery. I haven't gotten eye laser surgery. I have, in fact, uh, just kind of dealt with glasses my whole life. Um, which, you know, at first seemed like a, a real blow, a societal blow. You know, put me lower on the whole, like, caste system of, you know, <clears throat> cool. Um, or, like, acceptable. Um, but as time go has gone on, uh, glasses seem like... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a hot take. Glasses are okay with me. They're alright. I'd rather do the whole glasses thing than, like, jam contacts in my retinas. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure that you don't jam them in the retinas, do you? You jam them in something. You put them in your eye holes. I don't like that. I don't like putting things in my eye holes. We're fighting beetles. Beetles are generally cool with us, except for the fact that we now have fungled on them. So, you're not gonna be cool with beetles if you're fungling on them. Don't be fungling on things. People don't like that. Beetles especially. I mean, not especially. The same as. They don't like that. Things don't like being non-consensually fungled. It's not, not okay. You know, you're not really a fun guy, despite what people might lead you to believe. Um, alright, so, uh, we've got some goat folk here. I do believe that, um, the ru that ruins take the, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, temporal fugue here. That the ruins take the form of the environment that you, that they're on, so like a, a, f uh, a ruin on the jungle is gonna be a bit spicier than a ruin on, like, say, uh, well, I guess they are all on the, the jungle, aren't they? A little bit? Not quite? Um, there's there's other types of ruins, I, I promise. But anyway, we, we have fought off the goat folk. Um, Temporal Fugue is beginning to take shape. I really hope this is not a psychic um, legendary goat folk. Hated by the Farmer's Guild, loved by goat folk. We are trying to make friends with goat folk, so it might behoove us not to be extremely punny right now, but it might behoove us to go ahead and uh, throw a our only love injector into our main hand and see if we cannot uh, become friends with them. Now, there is other and better ways of becoming friends with, um, you know, uh, the creatures. Like, we could try and proselytize them, for instance. But uh, that generally does not work. Something is throwing stuff. Ex it emits an electromagnetic pulse. I sure hope that my love injector is okay. Okay, we're, we are now friends with the goat folk. What? Come back. Do not, you know, do not. Now we have to look at them. And we're going to chat with them. Is engage with hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is my least favorite part of CUD. Is the chaos part. It's, it's where, you know, the part where, um, you know, we're, we're not really in a good situation. Um, we, we're trying desperately to make friends with this legendary goat folk. Uh, and now they are, they are in combat because, um, you know, we're, we're enemies to other goat folk. By all stretch of the imagination, we should be in a good position here. We should be, like, making... Uh, friends to all of these goat folk, but instead we're, we're having to deal with, with them in a, in a way that, you know, it's, it's just, it sucks. Like, here's, here's what's going to happen here, and I can't, I can't really foresee it being any other way, is our, our friend here, our legendary friend, is going to die before I can make friends with them. And that's just, like, really frustrating. They're injured. Can we maybe proselytize 
one of these other friends just to help the situation. I'm convinced. Uh, let's try conking them, slamming them. Like, if I could just slam them out of the way, like, what are we, look, wounded. Like, this is, it's really frustrating. You know, I'm hoping, okay, they don't, I don't think they're in combat now. Let's chat. There we go. Your, fir your thirst is mine. We're going to make enemies to the Farmer's Guild. We're not even enemies to them. We're going to make better friends with goat folk. I have a sh secret to share with you. This is good. We'll get more reputation with goat folk. And I have another secret to share with you. We'll get more reputation. So we're at negative 250. This is um, in the pursuit of becoming friends with Mamon Soul Drinker. It's well with the inspiration to name your amber-tipped staff. Okay, let's call it... Um, uh blunt tip there you go and i want to make it like grossly incandescent i'll make it uh look default i kind of like defoliant gaslight is also kind of nice uh kaleidoslug nah i do really like mercurial Mercurial seems nice. Give me a second while the garbage truck does their thing. All right, I think they're I think they're done. So um, let's we're, we seem to have more friends. Let's go ahead. We're not too concerned about. Um, well, I don't have temporal feedback. I was gonna say about our friend dying. So long as we don't kill them, it doesn't matter. Um, they can die. It's fine. Um, and I don't think it matters if someone else kills them. Um, we're taking some pretty major damage here. Ouch. And I can't uh, rule out the idea, what the heck is going on? That um, there might be a, wait, are we now enemies? Itchy skin, hostile. My dude, you made a pact with me. Why do you think you can break it? I wouldn't break it. Do we have our mechanical wings? We do. Let's go ahead and fly out of here. And I'm just going to write this place off. Uh, actually, let's mark, a, mark it here. Do not come back. Legend. Go, folk. Okay. All right. We're going to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and control tab to our fly and then hit that. Can't fly underground. Oh, we're underground, right. All right, um, let's go ahead and sprint. We're hitting the bricks. And of course I ran into a tree and kept running. So now we're, we're in trouble. Oh, man, I swear to God, if I die here, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. I'm gonna be a little bit upset. These goat folk are really kind of trying my patience right now. Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and eat some, uh, have some meds. We don't want this. We want meds. Do we want an herb berry? Let's just go take, go ahead and take an herb berry. I really cannot afford to, um, you know, lose this situation. Let it become out of hand. So we're gonna, we're gonna run away completely and then fly away. Fly away. Um, and I'm not going to come back there. Uh, I don't like that place. But if we go here. Okay, so um, current location, some forgotten ruins. Where is our place? Where is the place I just named? That's kind of weird. Named locations. One pair saying west and one pair saying north of Grit Gate. Two strata deep. Last visit, okay. Well, um, can we, I guess we'll, okay, don't, hmm, cannot do that on the world map. All right, well, I was kind of hoping to mark the entrance because there's three, remember, each ruin is a three by three, so we could still go to the other pair, like other chunks of that parasang. Um, but never mind. You know, um, 
I seem to recall there is some kind of benefit to having fungal infections. Not fickle gill. Never fickle gill. Fickle gill is always going to be the worst, and I hate it. And I don't like it, and it, I wish it would not be a thing anymore. I don't like it. Goodbye. Um, but uh, there are so, there's a there there are some new quests. There is at least one new quest, which are we friends? Oh, I see we're flying. Um, which gives us an added benefit to to uh, fungal infections. I don't know where and how to get it. I think it is part of the hydropon. Now. I, I have a funny feeling that there is an unintended kind of um, bug right now that uh, the, the main person I need to talk to in the hydropon is uh, not listed as a important or uh, noteworthy, like, character. And that's something I, like, I, I guess what I'm saying is I'm going to have to go back there and talk to every single slint. Just every single one. And that's going to be a bit of an issue, a little bit. Um, Alright. There's some moths. We have no more moths. Um, it's it's going to be a bit of an issue. I don't, I'm don't. i not, not a huge fan of that. You don't see any hostiles nearby. I'm hitting the melee nearest uh, user, but or nearest enemy. Because I think there is a quest at the Hydropon, and someone is, of, of course, inevitably going to tell me, yes, there is a quest there, and you need to figure that out because there's good stuff there to, to get. And I, I, it just occurred to me, I don't think I made any... Um, I didn't save, make a checkpoint after having done all that stuff with the goat folk. I don't really want to die after having spent an herbary to escape that situation. So as soon as I have finished here, which is pretty soon... Uh, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go to, I think I wanna go to, uh, we're gonna go to Eid Freehold. Why not? Or I know we're all over the place today. Sorry about that. Uh, I do want to, like, cure my fungal infections. I'm kind of, I need to prioritize that because it's really not helping me too much right now. But, um, there's other things to do as well. Um, and I wanna ch check out, ch see if I can't do that, the, the Slinth quest. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna talk to this lad. I think they've got some good stuff for us. And we have lots of trade goods right now. Uh, terrifying Visage Spiked Antimatter Cell is quite nice. I'm pretty sure that is a Tinker 3. Yeah, it is. Um, Spacer Pistol. Is that Tinker 3? Uh, of course it is. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Oh. Metamorphic Cores. Amazing. I would really like some of those. Um, that, that is just gonna, like, 100% make, make my future much easier for me. I'll take one, anyway. Hit me up with your, uh, metamorphic core, please. Sir and or madam and or they. Hit me up with that, and I, I might, um, trade you a, a luminous horse shroom or two. Or three. Uh, that's actually quite enough drams. You know what? Um, let's, let's go ahead and grab another metamorphic polygel. I'm good with that. Let's do that. But there's other things to obtain here. I need to talk to the plant. The plant with the impronounceable name. At least from my perspective, I cannot pronounce that name. I'm sorry. Tila, Tila Fergewix. Maybe. Maybe that's how you do it. Um, flawless crystal gauntlet, certainly. Oh, and also flawless crystal shard mail. Unfortunately, it's engraved, so it's gonna that's gonna increase the price. Um, but we'll definitely take them flawless crystal gauntlets. So that will do us very nicely. We have quite a bit of money to spend, and we will spend it on that. Um, I guess I'm not using that laser pistol. I might in the future. Who knows? I'll keep it on me just in case I change my mind. Do that tray, beaded bracelet. We're getting kind of close. We'll have to dip a little bit into some trade goods. Let's go ahead and trade um, this 16 drams of wine. And now we are definitely into trade goods. So let's go ahead and do two silver nuggets. 
And, uh, well, we don't have to do a gold nugget. We could do... Yeah, let's do a... Actually, let's just do the rest in cash. Um, it's not flawless crystal, but I wouldn't mind actually getting grabbing the other crystal gauntlets as well, because, as I understand it, well, unfortunately, we're only going to be able to wear one of these, so that kind of sucks. It's another another reason why we should, you know, prioritize getting rid of these uh, fungals on our hands. But I wouldn't mind grabbing the other the other one as well because um, you know we need two. Otherwise, it's not worth it. It's it's like not worth grabbing it, either of them. Um, we can do this. We'll do the rest in cash. There we go. Um, so we like I know and I know they're going to be averaged. So unfortunately, it's kind of a waste of money because um, it means that. Like, we're essentially just wearing two crystal gauntlets as opposed to two flawless crystal gauntlets because they're going to be averaged down. Um, but, you know, there's not much we can do about it. And um, it's I think it's better to kind of make the better, the best of the flawless crystal than to, like, just get nothing and then and then we end up in a situation where we're not we're not getting, like, any of the value of that. We're gonna. We're definitely gonna buy some stuff here. I want. I want some an, another herbary to replace the one I used. Let's sell these sower seeds. They're quite good um, in combat, but I. I, I just like. Eh, I'm good. Eventually, we will get um, to be able to tinker up some explosive grenades, and then the sower seeds will be very much redundant. Oh, I accidentally walked into the wild. Didn't mean to do that. Um, Alright, so... With all of that being done... I should want to... What are we doing? I guess we're going to try and find ourselves a null worm. So let's go ahead and um, recoil back to crit gate. Eventually I'll uh, tinker up some more solar cells so that I can... Uh, I, I don't have to rely on the only two recoilers that I have solar cells in. And I'm being very lazy about the whole thing. Um, you know, I don't I don't want to have to, like, replace cells in the other uh, recoilers. And I also don't want to have to juggle cells by, like, oh, I'm going to put a solar cell in this one because this is more like what I need. So uh, we are going to go back to the ruins. Um, and we're going to do some more exploration. And hopefully I'll find a null worm and, uh, you know, like, I, I don't know. You could let me know in the comments. I can't s can't make any promises as to whether or not it will help me because uh, ultimately, um, you know, I'm, I'm like, I, I pre-record these, right? Like, you probably this episode will go up next week. So if you tell me in the comments, hey, I know where there's a null worm corpse. Um, it may very well help me. It may very well do nothing because uh, maybe I've already solved the situation. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of the unfortunate reality of the whole thing. But um, that doesn't mean don't tell me because <laughs> it could very well be that it does help. Who knows? It's kind of a weird situation and I can't, I can't tell you one, one way or another if it will actually make a difference. Okay, so this isn't great. Luckily, chain guns are um, pretty inaccurate, and we also have very good armor, so. We have itchy skin again. Are we just going to keep getting fungled? Like, did they actually buff Fickle Cell? Fickle Gill, I think it is. Did they buff it? Like, can you actually get itchy skin from your own business? Because if that's the, the case, I think that that sucks. Like, Fickle Gill already sucked. Fickle Gill was already not okay. Not something you really wanted to get ever. But if you can get it, if you can, like, reinfect yourself multiple times, like, that just, you know, everything about that is it, just awful. Um, so we're in a situation right now. I'm going to go ahead and Temporal Fugue and then just kind of let, let my clones do a lot of the work. I think there's probably a legendary over there, unfortunately. If there is, I might ha 
Oh, we're we're fighting a uh, disarmer, a saw hander. I kind of want to just keep an eye on the situation in case there is a legendary. Um, I think I'm going to leave. So, I mean, I've got itchy skin, and I undoubtedly have it from Fickle Gill. So, we really kind of have to deal with this now, don't we? So, let me let me uh, look up Null Worm. <laughs> Null Worm... Tends to hang out where exactly? Have a hundred percent chance. Oh, they have a hundred percent chance of dropping a null worm corpse upon death, which is great. So I definitely have gotten one at one point or another. They're very similar to plated null worms. I didn't know there was a difference actually. Um, limbs, demeanor. Please tell me where they dwell. Where where do they dwell, my my good friend the wiki? Tell me. Worms faction, telling me everything I need to know except where they live. My dude. My dude and or they. What what where where do they where do they dwell? <laughs> Anywhere. Um, ba, 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 not seeing them anywhere. Are they just kind of like randomly peppered across the world? Okay, yeah, can't can't find them. <laughs> Jeez. All right, that's that's kind of frustrating. Really trying here. And I need, I, like, there's a time limit, you know? Like, because I, I just want to find out something real quick, and it's not, it's not telling me. So, I, I have a funny feeling they're in the hills, mostly, or just, like, underground. So, uh, where are we? We're going to go to the hills. I've contracted more fickle gill. And this is really, really, really wonderful. I, I do love this, honestly. So, what do we have here? Glow Crow Corpse. Um, apparently I've been here before, so may as well check the uh, corpses here. Tortoise Corpse. Glow Crow Corpse. Um, I'm just going to wander around and hope that, uh, that we, we bump into a Null Worm. It's a, it's a pretty loose hope, honestly. At least, at least we know that if we do find one, We'll for sure get a corpse. Snapjaw. There's been a lot of snapjaw corpses in my line of work lately. I do know, like, I know for sure I've fought a null worm on this playthrough. But, like, where, right? Where in the world did I fight it? It's, it's like, not... It, like, I do try to make a note of, um, you know, certain specific corpses. Tamora Grove, huh? Like, for instance, uh, leeches. Uh, leeches are not a uh, corpse you necessarily want to have to look for. Um, if you don't know where they are, then, you know, like, it's it's just going to be a problem. Um, mirthworms. Well, the thing about mirthworms is you know for sure there's going to be some in Great Gate. There are a lot of mirthworms in Great Gate. So, not, not really an issue. Mirthworms, fine. Um, but, like... Yeah. Gnoll worms, I guess, are, are kind of an issue. Seed sprout um, worms, I forget what they're called. They're called, you know, the ones. They're, like, stupidly rare, and they only hang out, like, with one of them at a time. And um, it's just, like, a massive pain in the butt, and I, I cannot stand them. Um, if they're ever a cure, I, I almost like consider that run over because it's just like, what's the point? I can't cure this basically ever. I'd have to get obscenely lucky to find that specific creature. And then I don't believe they have a hundred percent chance of dropping a corpse. So it's just kind of like, yep, yeah, you're, you're screwed. Sorry. Sorry, bud. Dems the brakes when it comes to RNG, I suppose.
I dispose. We're gonna check out this Snapjaw fort. Cause why not? You never know, this might be the one we find, uh, we get stops Fallon. I'm famished. I should eat some food. Let's eat some food. You know what? Probably I did encounter some um, null worms, but I butchered all of them. Which is just kind of the worst, isn't it? Um, because I do see... I, I, I think I do have, like, worm meat on me. So that's, you know, pretty not great. I feel like um, we'd almost st stand a better chance of finding null worms underground. I think they probably d are more likely to dwell underground. Specifically near... Um, Jopa. So we could, what we could do is we could go underground in back to the Jopa crack. And then instead of following the Jopa crack, we're just gonna like deviate immediately. And I think that this might be a good idea. I'm sure somewhere it, it'll tell me, um, you know, where, where Jopa, oh, sorry, not Jopa where gnoll worms tend to like to hang out, but I'm not finding it. And I'm pretty sure it, they are just like straight up underground. So um, this is the river and we could follow it north, but we're gonna go east, hopefully. All right, we're east. There's a lot of amoebas. There's some amoeba corpses. That'd be really good if I, uh, if I needed an amoeba. If I need an amoeba, then I, I know where to look. Crocodiles, centipedes. Luckily we haven't spored and uh, angered one of those trash monks. Okay, there's not really a lot going on here. I don't believe we get any XP from those centipedes, so, you know, this is all, like, very uh, unproductive. If we don't find the null worm, it's just, like, completely unproductive. There's nothing going on here. For us, we don't get anything from fighting these guys. Oh, well, we did spore. And, okay, luckily we do not have itchy skin, but... Might be a good idea to start using ranged combat. This is the problem, is this is like 100% going to prey on my inability to play optimally. <laughs> I say inability, uh, refusal. Refusal to play uh, optimally. Because the thing is, is like, in order to not continue, <laughs> to stop getting more fungal, uh, I really need to like start thinking about what I'm doing and like, you know, planning ahead and all the stuff I hate. Um, <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's no good. No time for that. And so I'm just going to keep getting fungled. Every time I, uh, you know, if I, like every time I'm in a combat, there's a small chance I will get unlucky and spore. And if I spore, then I'm, I'm likely to reinfect myself. I haven't, fi haven't found a null worm yet. Which is just a darn shame. Crabs, no problem. <clears throat> what, what is that? That's a trash monk. Oh, they're wearing something. They're disguised. All right. They're disguised as a chef. Very good. Oh! No worm! Yes! The, the quest is over! Oh my god, and of course we're over and burdened. Uh, let's go ahead and throw on our nylon body pack. We don't need to fly for a bit. Alright, let's 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 get on out of here. Um, actually, hmm, let's go to... Let's go to Deva. Because that's just home. We don't have to worry about anything. And we're going to go back to the six day stilt. Pretty sure I have everything I need. Um, I need the corpse and I, I needed something else. I think, I believe a gel. Do I, I did get the gel, right? I think I accidentally got the gel. 
I have in, I have an applicator, desalination pellet, and spray bottle. Cool. We got the spray bottle, and we have gel. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way back to the six day stilt. Sure, we'll check out some ruins along the way. Why not? Tent Tentalum Ashur. So we'll check this out real quick. Ah, oh, don't do that. <laughs> Novice of the sightless way. Come on, buddy. We don't we don't need to be doing that. Okay, there's actually um, some interesting stuff here, but I'm not gonna. I'm not going to pursue it right now. I'm pretty sure the staircases are just going to lead to um, the salt desert underground and not actually to a ruin, per se. I discovered some forgotten ruins. Uh, I'm kind of playing with fire right now because, well, first of all, this is a fungal forest, so let's not dwell there. We're just about to cure myself. I don't really want to have to deal with anything else. So, um, really, I'm just here to make a note or to, to like, re-familiarize myself with the cure. Corpus Colias. Go ahead and read this. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Treatment. First, to find an antifungal cream must be concocted from gel and primordial soup. Oh god, I forgot about that. That means we have to go to the rainbow wood. Then consumes a raw null worm corpse to stimulate intestinal immunity. Within two hours of ingesting the corpse, use a spray bottle to apply one dram of the concoction. So gel and primordial soup. It doesn't give me a ratio and that's fine. Um, so I think the easiest way to get there would be to go to Kya Kya, Kya. My god. Fungal infections, am I right? Just the worst. Just, just the absolute worst. Alright. Let's go to the Rainbow Wood. Smell roasted boar nearby. Would you like to investigate? No. Not really. Some ruins? Sure, we'll check out some ruins real quick. And we'll leave. Luckily that frog did not count. We'll check out some more ruins. Chromium points some more. Not, just a ruin, not a named location. More ruins! We're doing really well by ruins. I feel like the compass has gotten a buff. Discovered forgotten ruins. Uh, roasted boar, no thank you. Uh, would you like to investigate? Sure. We're very close. Forgotten ruins. More ruins! Oh my god. Good lord. We're hungry. We're almost uh, at a good point where we can, um, like, oh, west side. Uh, let's go to the center. Actually, we'll go to the north northeast. We're almost at a, a good hungry point where we could eat a, you know, I could see myself eating a knoll worm corpse, you know? Oh god, Chitinous Puma. Chitinous Puma, not really a, a problem for us. I still get a little bit on edge when I see a Chitinous Puma because they're really unfortunate um, thing in the early game. They, they have like every opportunity to just destroy you. I need to not be in fungal right now because I don't want to have to wait three days for <laughs> a fungal infection to uh, appear for me to then have to cure it. Chrome idol. Um, we'll just kill. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I really shouldn't be exploring. I don't want to find anything. We're, ju we're just gonna, we're just here for some primordial soup. There it is. Um, collect liquid. I wish there was a better way of doing this. Oh yeah, pour. Okay, pour into, uh, pour into the spray bottle, why not? We'll do 30 drams. Oh, that's right, we can only do a certain amount. Okay, so um, pour into water skin. We're gonna do 
40 drams. And I see that cider there. Is that cider? Oof, money in the bank. Money in the bank. All right, um, water container. So primordial soup, and we wanna use this gel. We're gonna go ahead and pour into another container. Um, primordial soup. Do you wanna empty the water skin first? No. Um, let's just do like three drams. I don't think it matters, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep a little bit of gel on the side. So we have an unctuous primordial soup. Then we're gonna go ahead and pour into a spray bottle. Um, we can only do two. That means we're gonna have to refill it because I have to use this multiple times. And uh, this isn't really a good place to hang out. Do we have enough storage? We really don't. I'm wondering, can we collect? How much of this can we collect? Yeah, I was a little bit worried about that. Just like grabbing all of it is is not going to be okay. Um, might be worth emptying some of our water. Nah, that's kind of dangerous. No, no, it's actually, it is worth it because we can just recoil out. Um, pour it nearby. We're going to collect some more. And now we need to kind of deal with our encumbrance situation. We have that dram of oil. I don't, I, I knew, I know there's a somewhere, somewhere there's someone who is a friend to robots that I need to give that oil to. Can't remember who. Well, we can disassemble this. It's not really gonna help, but it's a start. Um, oh, we could definitely disassemble this nano pneumatic jackhammer. That's gonna help a lot. Um, kind of don't want to drop these daggers. Grenades? No. Food. Ah, food is a, that's a great start. Let's go ahead and preserve some fresh food. And we are still not mobile. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, we could, let's preserve some exotic food. That'll help a little bit. Um, and the yuckwheat stem. Sure. All right. That'll help a little bit. Not a lot. Armor. We can't really drop a lot of this. I'll drop the boar skin, though, because we, we have a straight up upgrade. Um, we could drop the elastine skull cap. Not a big deal. Oh, we're, we're fine now. Okay, so let's go ahead and recoil to Eid Freehold. And we're going to go ahead and cure ourselves there. And then also sell our cider. And then maybe buy something. Who knows? Uh, ooh. Is this a... Okay, we're good. We're, we're okay. We're on good terms with the Elder Still Beer. Uh, that's, that would be kind of bad. All right, so what we want to do... I actually don't really want to do this exactly here. If we're kind of semi-safe down here and it looks like we're okay... I don't see any red dots. Now I want to, what we want to do is wait hundred, wait say 700 turns until we become famished. There we go. And now we want to eat the null worm corpse. Yummy. You feel sick. And now we want to use the, sorry about the cicada in the background. I wish I could tell him to stop, but I don't know. So we're going to apply to ourself. Loosens and breaks away. And then we're going to do that two more times. Apply to ourself. Fickle gill. And then we have to, again, throw some more of the, the juicy business into our, into our spray bottle. This is a, such a process, you know? Okay, spray bottle, apply on ourself, fickle gill. There we go. Now we are completely unfungled. Amazing. I say amazing, but really it's just like it's just like the baseline. Like 
the bar really is low, you know? Um, we don't, we don't really, like, we, we want to be better than just not fungled. Um, is there something we can put on our face? No. I'm wondering what, what got removed. We lost one of our hands, so we've got our armor on now. We've got our feet, shoes on. And I think we're pretty good. We've got, we're, we're actually in like almost, I think we're in full crystal gear now. Which is nice. We're at AV17. It's a good place to be at AV17. We're gonna sell our cider though. Do I have any skill points? I do, and I also have an attribute point. So we're gonna throw that on Ego. Oh no, we're finally being watched. So we're now high enough that uh, we're, we're on the psychic glimmer. That might also be because is light. I think my light manipulation is also a mental mutation. I kind of think it is, and that makes sense because our glimmer is twenty-one, which is twelve plus nine, right? Um, so that sucks. We're on the we're on the psychic glimmer uh, tapestry now. Unfortunate, but kind of inevitable. Um, we could stop rolling with light manipulation, but I kind of really like it. It's a nice little added bonus. Um, someone said in the comments they'd really like to see me throw some points on multiple arms, and I think that that's a good idea. Um, so let's do a little bit of that. I'm gonna bring it up to like level six. Uh, let's do like eight. I guess that's, that means, like, next time we, uh, I don't know when the next time we, uh, rapid advancement, we can still rapid advance multiple arms if we wanted to. So that seems like a good idea. We're probably going to be, like, smacking things, like, a lot. Like, what's, what is it, what are we at here? 34% chance for each arm to deliver an additional melee attack whenever you make a melee attack. That's really good. And then remember that all of those attacks have a chance of stunning. So it's like stun lock city right there. Um, let's, uh, I do want to throw, sp spend some skill points. And what we're going to do is I want to buy a tinkering too. If actually, I don't think I can afford it cause I don't have enough, uh, intelligence yet. Right. Yeah. I need to be at 23 intelligence. That's going to be a while. Going to be a long time. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. Um, all right, so I guess we're good. I could take Carbide Chef. That is also another achievement, so you know that that'll work. We'll be we'll we'll start making some recipes, and I might try experimenting. This might be the run where I, I try experimenting with different ingredients. So um, we're good. We're finally unfungled, and uh, we're gonna start working towards some of our goals again, including um, the whatever quest this the the, the Slinth have. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of shopping as well, but that'll be in the next episode. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.